Good evening, dear Lord. I want to pray that you bring us all together here tonight, that you work on our attitudes, teach us how to be more loving, compassionate like you, patient, obedient, and humble. Take away the anger, stubbornness, laziness, pride, and judgment. Dear Lord, Help us practice what we preach. If we hurt people, give us the strength to apologize. And if others hurt us, give us the strength to forgive. Dear Father, help us make decisions according to your will and not according to our own emotions. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen.
will shout your praise Our hearts will cry These bones will sing Great are you our Jesus deserves an applause. Hallelujah. Are you, Lord? For He is always great. He is always faithful. He is always there. He was, is, and is to come. Hallelujah. You are so great, Jesus. We sing of your greatness, God. Just when you think that there's nothing else you don't know about God, He finds a new way to amaze you. He finds a new way to show how glorious He is, how truly great He is, how truly big He is compared to any understanding that we could possibly fathom. Yes, Jesus, we can't box you up because you are too great. You are too big. You are too glorious. <laughs> 
we can't contain you Lord we just ask for you to overflow in this place tonight God we thank you for your presence Jesus bridge one more time and all the earth and all the earth will shout your praise our hearts will cry these bones will sing great Shout your praise, our hearts will cry, these bones will sing, sing great.
for your sacrifice. We ask for you to deposit in us tonight.
to speak with him, to encounter him tonight.
Many times we forget to pray. And sometimes we may even doubt our fate. Thank you for loving us unconditionally. And giving us another day to start over. Dear God, forgive us for our sins. We want to live for you. Dear Jesus, if we are wrong, correct us. If we are lost, guide us. If we start to give up, keep us going. Father God, you know every prayer and need in this basket. But what we want the most is your will and your plan for our life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening, Church. My name is Lala, and um, I feel very blessed to be here tonight with all of you. Uh, I would like to share about humility. What is humility, and what happens when we humble ourselves? For example, by giving, we are humbling our hearts. And denying ourselves. Uh, to deny ourselves is a sacrifice. We do what God wants us to do and not what we ourselves want to do. In the book of Ruth, we see how Ruth is being so kind and humble. She denies her own will and decides to stay with her mother-in-law. And support her. Even though her husband has passed away. Do you realize what this, what this woman sacrifices? Some of us don't, don't even want to call our mother-in-laws and our husbands are still alive. Nobody here, of course. Other churches. Uh, her mother-in-law even tells her, go and find yourself a new life. You don't need to stay with me. But yet she feels that that's the correct thing to do. God sees Ruth's kind heart and rewards her with a wealthy gentleman named Boaz. Not just wealthy, but also kind. Because God lifts the humble. In Psalms 147.6 says, the Lord sustains the humble and casts the wicked to the ground. Psalms Harukarasuni uh six. Six. Harukarasuni Yoti Vetsa. Yeah. Psalms In other words, when we give, we humble ourselves and do what's right. And this way we get lifted up. Uh, we get taken care of and provided for. If you feel in your heart that you want to give, 
եթե ձեր սրտում զգում եք որ դուք պետք է զոհաբերեք you can use the envelopes or online on, and now we even have zell ծրարները կարող եք օգտագործել օր օգտագործել online կամ zell-ն էլ ունենք հիմա մենք արդեն may god bless you թողոր աստված օրնի ձեզ thank you heart thank you sister amen amen hallelujah Let's go before God with a quick prayer. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you that the entrance of your word brings light. Lord, let your word enter our spirits tonight. And may our lives change from tonight on. Եվ մեր կյանքերը այս երեկոյից սկսած փոխվեն։ We pray that you may give us a new revelation of you. Մենք աղոթում ենք, որ դու նույն նոր հայտնություն տաս, թե դու ով ես։ And a revelation of who we are in you. Եվ մենք հայտնություն տաս, թե մենք ով ենք կեզանում։ So that you may exalt yourself through us. Որ դու բարձրանաս մեր կյանքերի միջոցով։ In the name of Jesus. Հիսուսի անունով։ Amen. 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 It's an honor to be here and to stand here and I thank God and I thank my pastor for giving me this opportunity. Um, yeah, today I I titled this uh, what is a vessel? Because it's extremely important that we understand what does it mean when the Bible calls us vessels of God or vessels of the Holy Spirit? But to understand first what a vessel is, we first have to understand the main goal um, that we have and the main mandate that we have being believers in Christ. The greatest calling that God has placed upon each one of our lives on earth is to reflect the likeness of Jesus and to bring the kingdom of heaven on earth. And so, since the kingdom of heaven is something that is not seen with natural eyes. We have to understand in a greater measure what that means to bring the kingdom down to earth. Because Jesus said, let your kingdom go, let let your will be done let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven so you first have to understand that you're citizens of another domain there's there's somewhere else that you belong to and you just dwell here for a short amount of time on earth and you're here for an assignment and a mission. That's why the Bible says, uh, walk your, your life here in fear, knowing that you're just a sojourner, you're just a foreigner here. And so the Bible then goes on to call us vessels of God. And it describes humans in general as just vessels, not even of God, but just a vessel. So I want to go a little bit more into what that means for our lives. And how we can use it for the glory of our Father in heaven. So I want to go to a Bible verse. It's in 2 Timothy chapter 2 from verse 20. And this is going to be the basis of what I'm talking about tonight. So it starts and it says, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. 
մեծ տան մեջ ոչ միայն ոսկյա ու արծաթյա անոթներ կան այլև փայծա եւ խեցե կան որ պատվավոր գործածության համար են եւ կան ոչ պատվավոր գործածության համար so already the bible is calling us vessels եւ տեսնենք որ ասա խոսքը մեզ կոչում է անոթներ now in order to fully understand what that means you first have to understand how things function որպես ամբողջովին հասկանանք թե ինչ է դանաշանակում մենք պետք է հասկանանք թե ինչի համար է ամեն ինչը and uh, why are we vessels what are we vessels of ինչի համար ենք մենք անոթներ այդ անոթներ ինչի համար են you first have to understand that man has been given dominion over uh, the earth over the uh, fish of the sea over the fowl of the air պետք է հասկանանք որ մարդուն իշխանությունն է տրվել երկրի վրա երկրի ծովին գտնվող ձկների եւ այլնի վրա And so there's different places that man has been given dominion and authority over over all the earth the bible says. Տարբեր տեղերի համար է որ աստծո աստված մարդուն իշխանություն է տվել աստծո խոսքի համաձայն։ And before anything happens on the earth it first have, has to be um, like accepted or it has to be given access to by a man. Որպես ինչ որ ընդ տեղի ունենա առաջ երթին պետք է այն ընդունված լինի as as go mit height harchakvas leni chistem as by a man a man has to allow it to happen on the earth a marta petke da tulta vor da tegi unena yerka gndi vera that's why god needs people and the devil also needs people to do his will asvats dra mar karik uni martkants satanan el nuinpes karik uni martkants so there's no spirit that can work independently of a human on earth ոչ մի հոգի չկա որ մարդուց անկախ կարող է գործել երկա գնդի վրա because man has been given dominion and authority over all the earth որովհետև մարդուն է տրվել ամբողջ իշխանությունը երկա գնդի վրա so when the devil wanted to plant his own evil seed into mankind եւ որ սատանան փորձեց իր չար սերմը դնել մարդկության մեջ and to corrupt all of the earth եւ փչացնել ամբողջ երկա գնդը he needed a man to give him the legal right to do so na karik uner vor martha ira orinakan iravunkh hanzni naran vor da ani da so in order for even the devil to function on the earth he needs a man nuinis kor ye yerka gndi vera satanan gortsi na martu karik hun and even for god to function on the earth he also needs a man nuinis k astvats vor gortsi yerka gndi vera na martu karik hun otherwise he wouldn't make us in his image and likeness and he would just do what he needs on his own hailapes na mer ir patkerov nomanutsamp mes cher stegtsi and otherwise he wouldn't need to come in the form of a man to save us and he would just do it without that yev nuinis k martu nomanutsamp cher gana vor psi na mes pherker so in order for something to be established on earth a man is needed vor psi in shoyman hastatvi yerka gndi vra martu karike ka and no spirit can function on the earth without a man letting the spirit function Եվ ոչ մի հոգի չի կարող գործել երկա գնդի վրա եւ որ մարդը նրան թույլ չտա գործի երկա գնդի վրա And so that will help us and broaden our understanding of what exactly it means to be a vessel Դա մեզ թույլ կտա որպեսզի մենք հասկանանք ինչ է նշանակում անոթ լինելը Now the definition on Google of a vessel is is this It's a hollow container especially one used to put to hold liquid Google-ով սահմանումը անոթի է սպես է տրվում դատարկ մի անոթ որտեղ պահվում են հեղուկներ So as a human the bible calls you a vessel it means that you're not independent of anything Եթե որ ասած աշունչը մեզ կոչում է անոթ դա նշանակում է որ մենք անկախ չենք It means you're created to host something որ որ մենք ստեղծվել ենք որ ինչ որ մի բան կրենք So either way you have to carry something as a vessel որպես անոթ մենք պետք է որ կրենք ինչ որ You you can't be an empty vessel. Դու չես կարող լինել դատարկ անոթ. And you can't not pick a side. Ի ու դու չես կարող ինչ որ կողմեր ընտրել քեզ համար. And so you have to host you have to contain a certain will of a certain being. Դու ինչ որ մի արարածի կամքը կարող ես քեզ վրա պահել վերցնել Or or you have to contain something that God has given. For example, Abraham in his loins and in his vessel carried nations orinak astvats abrahamin tvel er ir marmni mech krelu zhovortner so the bible so god said to abraham i'm going to make your descendants greater than the stars in heaven and Asvats, more than the the sand astvats ashunchna asma ures kes ktam serunner aveli shat khane asghernen so abraham was already a vessel that held and uh, carried nations inside of him 
Avram Arten Anotes was not Kazumes is Anoti match. Yeah, Moses also carried nations inside of him and he was called for nations. Moses Nelet Kazum Jogurt Neris Nersu. Joseph, when he was young, he had a dream that he would rule over his family. And so this was a seed planted by God and it was inside of these people. Now it was the will of God for Abraham to carry nations and to give birth to nations basically. And by God picking Abraham to do such a thing, it means Abraham uh, carried the will of God. And Abraham, so Abraham was carrying the will of God and it took Abraham to act for the will of God to be accomplished on the earth. So, so God trusted a man to carry out his will on the earth. And so man was an empty being, Abraham was an empty vessel. Abraham who submitted himself to the will of God. To the point where God said, go sacrifice your son, and he said, yes, Lord. So he was not holding on to anything of his own, anything of himself. But he submitted his own will to a greater will, which is the will of God. And so every single vessel or every single person has the ability to carry a will of God. So, and the will of God is different for every individual. And the callings of God are different for every individual and every vessel. That's why you can say, well, what is the will of God for my life, specifically my life? And the will of God for your life, you hear it and then you go and you do the will of God. But that same will that is for your life is not the same one that's for someone else's life. And that's why it's the will of God for my life. So you're created to be a vessel to hold a certain will of God. There's a certain job that's created just for you. There's a certain calling that's created just for you. There's a certain work that God has created and preordained just for you. Some people are created to be the best doctors in the world. And some people are created to be the best engineers and the most innovative engineers in the world. And so the will of God for one of them is not the same will of God for the other. But God's will is in both of them. And he chooses different vessels to accomplish the works that he has. And so the goal that you have as a vessel or as a human is to translate what is spiritual, which is the will of God, and bring it down to earth. So effectively you've become a mediator or an intercessor. So you've taken what is the will of God and you've established it on the earth. So 
Even Jesus in the flesh himself he wasn't uh, he had to submit his own will to his father's will Նույնիսկ Հիսուսի եփոր մարմնի մեջ Ջերնա Պետրեր իրականքը հանձներ ենթարկածներ հողոր կամքին That's why he said not my will but yours be done when he was praying at the garden of Gethsemane Դրա մարդ Գեթսեմանի պարտեզում եփոր աղոթումներ ասում էր իմ կամքը չէ թողքո կամքը լինի Meaning he had a will of his own but he had to submit his own will to his father's will so that his father's uh, kingdom can be built on earth նշանակում է նա ինքը իր կամքն ուներ բայց իր կամքը նա պետք է հանձներ հոր կամքին որpիսի կա կատարվել է ծրագի հոր ծրագիրը երկրի վրա Otherwise if you don't submit yourself as a vessel to God then the will of God will just hang in the air and it won't find expression on earth Եթե որպես եթե դու չհանձնվես աստծո կամքին քո քո անոթը աստծո կամքը այսպես կախված կը մնաուտից And but but Jesus's will that he was carrying of God is not the same that you also carry Jesus նասմ որ այն 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 կամք որ ինքն էր կրում այդ նույն նույն բանը դու չես կրում Yeah you don't carry the same will that Jesus carried Նույն կամքը որ Հիսուսը կրում էր դու նույն կամքը դու չես կրում You have another assignment you have another work you have another calling than he did դու ուրիշ առաջադրանք դու ուրիշ կանչ ունես քան թե ինքն ուներ And so it's important to understand that you are a vessel of God դու շատ կարևոր է որ հասկանաս որ դու աստծո անոթ ես And so the next verse says this it says Therefore if anyone cleanses himself from the latter he will be a vessel for honor sanctified and used for the master prepared for every good work it should be verse 21 which one is it verse 21 timothy image yet amek ninkniren aitpisi banerits makri ke darna patvakan anot sarpagortsvats u ir tiroch noktakar patrast amen bari gortsi so it says if you cleanse yourself from the latter you will be used as a vessel of honor and then it says sanctified and useful for the master asma vor yete du makres kes etpisi baneris du klines oktakar ko ko tiroch hamar so it means that there are vessels that when they empty themselves they can take on um the will and the substance that their master wants to give them նշանակում է որ եթե կան անոթներ որոնք իրանք իրանց ի վիճակ են մաքրելու դա նշանակում է որ իրանց տիրոջ կամքը կկարողանան ի վիճակի կլինեն նաև կրելու But unless you empty yourself you won't be able to be filled because the master is looking for vessels to fill Ահա եթե դու ինքդ քես չմաքրես տերը որ փորձում է լսնի քես ինք սпасում է որ դու քես մաքրես And he wants vessels to fill or to inhabit որ եւ որպիսի լցնի այդ անոթներին եւ բնակվի նրանցում So what you're full of is what will use you Ինչո որ դու լցված ես դրանով էլ դու օկտագործված ես So there's vessels of honor and there's vessels of dishonor Կամ պատվի արժանի անոթներ եւ անպատվության արժանի անոթներ So it says if someone cleanses themselves from the latter they will be used as vessels of honor Եթե ինչ որ մեկ իրեն մաքրի, դրանք օկտագործվեն որպես պատվի անոթներ։ And the master will then use that person։ Եվ տերը օկտագործի այդ 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 անձնավորությանը։ So a vessel is just one who serves the will of another։ Անոթը դա մեկ մի բան է, որը ծառայում է մեկ ուրիշի կամքին։ You just can carry something and what you carry is the only thing that you can give։ դու կկրում ես մի բան ու այն ինչ որ դու կրում ես դա այն է ինչ որ դու իր վիճակի կլինես փոխանցել։ And so what inhabits you and what you allow to fill you is what you will allow to give expression in the earth. Այն ինչ որ դու այն ինչ որ դու լցված ես այն այն ինչ որ բնակվում է քո ներսում դա է որ դու կարող ես տալ երկրին. So God is looking for people that he can fill to make vessels of honor. Աստված փնտրում է մարդկանց որպեսի նրանց դարձնի պատվի արժանի անոթներ. And it says useful for the master 
So then there are other vessels that are not useful for the master. And there are other vessels that serve another master. But you will serve who you submit yourself to. And so that's why God wants our worship and the devil also wants our worship. Even when Jesus was on the earth, Satan came to him to tempt him and he said, Worship me and I will give you all the kingdoms of the earth. So you have to understand that you as a human carry something that both God and the devil want to take advantage of. That's why it's not always the devil's will to kill you right away any chance he gets. Because the devil also needs vessels for his own uh, for establishing his own kingdom. So all the all the evil laws that get passed across the earth. The devil is behind those things, but he's using humans to actually pass them. All the evil that goes on that 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 the murders and everything that happens that's evil, the devil is behind it, but he's using humans. So just like God is looking for a vessel, the devil is also looking for a vessel. And what you submit yourself to is what you become a vessel of. And the main thing that I want to talk about is how you are actually used in the hands of God and in the hands of the devil. Because both the devil and God are just looking for submission. What you carry inside of you is all that God needs. It's all that the devil needs. Your own will to choose is all, all that they're after. And you already carry certain things inside of you that, um, that can hold what they want to give you. Like space, like a vessel. So being a human is just being an ability or having the ability to carry out a certain will over the earth. Yeah, and so you, you have to understand why God is so after you and why the devil is so after you. Sometimes you sit around and you think to yourself and you think that you're nothing and that you're good for no one. And your life is just a waste. Sometimes you sit around and you think, what will I ever accomplish? What will I ever get to? Sometimes you can sit and second guess everything that you're doing and even second guess your relationship with God. Like, is it really worth all this? So you have to understand how valuable you are in the sight of God. You have to understand that you are the person, you are the one who carries the ability to carry out the will of God on earth.
դու պետք է հասկանաս, որ դու ես այն անձնավորությունը, այն էակը, որը ի վիճակի եք կրելու աստոր կամքը երկրի վրա։ You yourself, you have the power to change the course of history. դու ունես կոներսում են զորությունը, որ կարող է պատմությունը փոխել։ You yourself, you have the power to carry the course of where your family is going. Եվ դու նույնպես կոմ մեջ ունես են զորությունը, որ կարող ես փոխել, թե կո ընտանիքի ապագան ինչ ինչ է լինելու։ Աստասքո որոշումների հետևից է։ Որոշում, որպիսի դու հանձնվես ու ենթարգվես իրեն։ Որոշում, որ ու ճանաչել ունեն ակամքը։ Your decision to not let negative emotions get to you, but to yield and submit to God in everything. Որ բացասական զգասմունքները չպատենք ես, բայց ամեն ինչը դու հանձնս նրան։ Because you are a product of who you fellowship with. Որդև կո անձի անձը արդյունքում, թե դու ում հետ ես հո you will look more like him. Եթե դու ավելի շատ փոխարաբերության մեջ ես ասու է, դու ավելի շատ նրան ես նմալ։ And if you fellowship with the people of God and if you fellowship with the people of God and the people who are striving also in the same goal as you are, then you will also get to look more like them. Եվ եթե դու շպվում ես ասցո մարդկանց հետ, որոնք նույն նպատակը, նույն � And the reason that's the case is because of the natural power that humans carry. So if you hang around someone and you get to become more like them, it means that subconsciously they have a certain power that can change you. By their words, by their words, by even their emotions, by their own desires, by the things they're feeling. So there are people that you hang around and all of a sudden you're like, man, I don't want to be here anymore. It feels like it takes the life out of you. You, you get sad. And there are people that you hang around with and you're like, this is good for me. This, I feel so alive when I'm with them. They have so much joy. So that means that without knowing, humans carry an ability to affect things around them. Հանաշանակում է, որ մարդիկ նա առանց հասկանալու ունեն այդ զորություն ինչ-որ բաներ պոխելու։ So what the person has submitted themselves to is also what they carry and it's what they establish on the earth. Մարդիկ ինչին, որ նրանք են թարգվում են, դա այն է ինչ, որ նրանք կրում են ու դա այն է ինչ, that says you're not good enough. Մարդիկ, որ իրենք հավատում են սատանայի ձայնին, որ ասմ է, որ դու այդ կանը լավը չես։ They now have filled their vessel with depression. Նրանք արդեն իրենց անոթը լեսրել են դեպրեսիայով։ And as they have filled their vessel with depression, now all they can give is depression. Եվ կանի, որ նրանք իրենց լսրել են դեպրեսիայով, միակ բան, որ նրանք կարող են պոխանցել դա դեպրեսիանը։ So you think, you think this is only affecting one person, but you forget to remember that humans are vessels. Դու կարծում եք դա մի հոգու վրա է ազլեցությունը, բայց մորանում եք, որ մարդիկ անոտներ են։ So God, the Bible says, is a God of generations. Աստված աշունչն ասմ է, որ աստված սերունների աստվածը։ He's in the business of blessing one and increasing one for a generation. Նա այսպես է գործում, նա կարող է սերունդներով որնել։ He blesses like one person for a generation. Like for, like for the generation. He's not blessing him for that person, he's blessing that person, so this person could be a blessing for the first generation. Նա որնում է մի մարդու, որը արդեն որնություն է սերունդներ, սերունդների են թացքում, թացքում է նրա։ He is not interested in just one person, or the same way with the devil, he's not just interested in making you sad, but he's interested in making everybody else 
after you sat. No in zevel sat ana na gortsum na vosh me ayn uzume kes takhresnel, bas komi jotsov takhresnel manats asnerinel. And so even the joy that you carry, the joy is for you, but then the joy is also passed on to people around you. When urakhutsuna vor duke rumas, iar ket urakhutsuna ko amar e bas naeva in pochans fam manats asnerin no impes. So you are a vessel. Yev du anotes. And so if God says if God gives you the spirit of joy that spirit of joy will make you joyful and cheerful but as you even fellowship and mingle with other people because you carry the spirit of joy also other people will carry the spirit of joy so God is not only targeting you. God is interested in spreading his kingdom on the earth. And that's why the Bible says that you are a temple of the Holy Spirit. So he wants vessels that he can fill with the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit will have maximum impact over the world. So the more people yield themselves to God and to the Spirit of God, the more God can have expression in the earth. The only person that can stop or the, the only uh, 